out in the middle, gotta stay hunting. Why don't wish up for nothing? 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 Agitated illusion, only based on confusion. The institution, modern the execution. Think I need the solution. Maybe that's what I do. I just put it in the music. Just put Plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And now we spin the block around just like the hell on the clock. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And now we spin the block around just like the hell on the clock. Come like a bat of the hell, I dare you to cross like a reverend. And my energy paralyzed, I'm like a finger 11. Take a second, I'm finna send it like a pair and a mess. To the best, if it ain't me, then you need you a confession, you a mess. Uh, you ain't scary to me. I heard you was a leader, but that ain't a pair to me. Put dust on you like cheetah, run up and I'm airing the seat. And I feel just like a cheetah prince, and I'm an heir to the seat. I mean, for real. Test the driver's sauce so I don't even grab the wheel. That's a lot on my chest, but it don't mean the man is stealing. Mean I'm walking with some money, man. I mean a couple mil. <clears throat> Ew, think you need a meal. You ain't even eating while I'm feasting in the field. That's why I'm always cheesing, cause I feel like Uncle Phil. And all this loose thing, the freshman ain't half the man as well. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hell on the clock. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hell on the clock. Just like the hands on the clock, I go back to bat when I'm doing numbers. All the mad that I'm dropping the bus, so they threw me under. But they mad they don't wanna bust, so they boo each other. Think that they're the winning team, go losing, then they choose another. And that's okay, cause I'm competing with me, not you. I live with blessings like I can't stop sneezing, not you. I hate to break above me and myself, top two. I blow away the competition like a ball of hot and there's no catch I go and get the bag And I'm not bringing it back I'm like a down QB I put the pain in the past And if you ever had a problem Promise I didn't ask So it's 444 In the car my dash I shake a big toy them all You at first you last Little boy that's facts I'ma grow that cash To my money <laughs> You should know it's automated. I've been getting to it. I ain't noticed y'all was hate. Brand new chick, she don't know that I can pace it. I just want to know that I can hold a conversation. Oof, I don't know what y'all debating. I've been waiting for you, now I'm running out of patience. Running up a check, trying to run an operation. Went broke in the check and put a hundred out of savings in. I can tell now that you ain't talking about nothing. I'm going to need something I can calm down from. I'm going to pull it with the bar down one. Six months in, I ain't going to once. Trying to tell me what you know about me. You don't know nothing, keep it real with me. She says she ain't trying to deal with me. Okay, cool, you can sell that seat.
I kick it? Hold on. Yeah, I got some rings and a range. Can I kick it? Yeah. Don't ask me a thing. How I got her, how I did it. Yeah. Spend the whole half, had a blast. Can I kick it? Yeah. Even with a sprain. Pain, can I kick it? Just the flex, I went and bought a chain. Can I kick it? Things ain't been the same. Things have changed. Can I kick it? People acting different, so I ask, can I? Hey, could count on my power and look at my dogs from. It was way back then, could claim what you saw, but you weren't with us. Uh, the higher the climb, the harder the fall, but how did you get up? I done got rich and went broke, then got rich again, just a little hiccup. I done been balling this pickup. Remember me being so bummy and being so hungry, I had these grits. Uh, how did the lady go miss? Uh, how she was mad, she mixed? Uh, met her at one of the functions, we caught her the rhythm. She caught up a friend, they kissed and we dipped it, and that's how we kicked it. Let me explain what I did, can I kick it? Hold on. Yeah, I got some rings and a range, can I kick it? Yeah. Don't ask me a thing, how I got her, how I did it, yeah. Spend the whole half, had a blast, can I kick it? Even with a sprain, pain, can I kick it? Just the flex, I went and bought a chain, can I kick it? Things ain't been the same, things have changed, can I kick it? People acting different, so I ask, can I? Before I went live, they ain't know what I was. Ain't no one alive that could do what I does. Wait, need a light year to catch my buzz. These right here to protect my cuz. Now they don't really talk about us. Now they don't really talk about love. Honestly, they ain't never seen too much. What's love to a guy with a bag? What's heart to a guy with cash? What's pain to a guy that's mad? Said. What's broke to a guy with a mask? What's broke to a guy with a plan? I just wanna kick it, that's all I ask. Like, let me explain what I did. Can I kick it? Hold on. Yeah, I got some rings and a range. Can I kick it? Yeah. The NFL on EA Sports is in the great state of Tennessee at Nissan Stadium here in Nashville. The whole of downtown Nashville likely still reverberating with the sounds of the Titans taking the field a moment ago. They're ready for football as their Titans are set to match up with the Seattle Seahawks. Here's the kicker, Jason Myers, to get this one started. And off we go from Nashville. And this one will not be handled. It's into the end zone for a touchback. upended after a gain of two out to the 27th. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. I remember watching Derrick Henry come out of Alabama and sitting with some scouts, and one of the debate points with him was, while at Bama, how often did he have to deal with contact near the line of scrimmage? They were so good up front that he often got to the second level pretty easily. I think he's starting to answer those questions with runs like that. He's a physical, physical guy. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. Here's Tannehill. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. I have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. Just what Seattle was hoping for. The coverage holds, and now fourth down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. Back deep for the Seahawks, Tyler Lockett. 
And oh my, mistake there. Backs up, takes a fair catch at the three-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. And now a lot of guys just barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in. A gain of three, second down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run They keep an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down, that's what they talk about, Nelson, all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. Now Wilson, down around his goal line. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And he backs it away, and it falls down incomplete. You always think about picking up the first down, but in this case, they were thinking about something bigger. They were thinking about the home run shot and took it downfield. Unable to connect, but admire the effort. And they'll get to this and down it inside the 25 at the 24-yard line. At their own 24-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your... And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Trey Flowers picks it. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. Makes the score Seahawks 7, Titans nothing. So they throw the pick 6, they'll get another shot at it now, as this one's in the air. Right after the touchdown to extend their lead, now maybe opening the door a little bit there by allowing starting field position at the 40. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at the 40. He'll start with a give to Henry. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. A three-yard when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second down, it's Henry, and he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It's a loss of four, now third down. He's With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Tannehill. And the Seahawks defense gets to him, and they bring him down. The sack there by Rasheem Green. A great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. And a great job on special teams to down it, as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. And they'll get him down up past the 15. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here. First and 10. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. They'll roll him out right. Complete to Dorsett. And all the way down to the 
42. A big play that time for the Seahawks. 42 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Here's Carson. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. But certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult. And he is going to go down. He will be sacked on the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And able to find Dorsett. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 28. First down Seattle on a pickup of 13. Seahawks. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. This is Carson. And he stopped immediately there. Jonathan Joseph there for the tackle. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. On second down, Wilson. He finds Dorsett. It's complete. With nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. First down, Seattle. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They run it with Carson. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Second and three with the ball sitting on the five. Three at the five-yard line. Now it's Carson, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. The ball carrier. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sends up a first and goal. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. They'll try to run with Carson, and he's across the chalk, into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. That almost looked too easy. And I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line. Because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Number first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. On second and ten, Tannehill. It's brought in by Adam 
Humphreys. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Mike, 56, right there, right there, 56. A first down carry for Henry. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. A try.